This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. It's the butt crack of dawn. But a road trip! Road trip! <laughs> Are you open? Don't say no. They're open. Fish. Good morning everyone and welcome to the road trip. If my makeup looks crazy, I literally had to do it in the car because we left so early. Like I actually couldn't do the, there's like a, can you see that little bit of eyeliner? I gave up. Oh, mm. We are on our way to Kawazu. I pronounced it right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kawazu is located like two and a half hours away from Tokyo by car if you use the toll roads. If not, I think it's like three and a half. I've been to Izu, as you guys know, like a billion times, but I've actually never been to this particular town. So I'm kind of excited. And they're supposed to be having the Cherry Blossom Festival right now. I don't know if they're gonna have like food stalls and all that fun stuff out, but we'll see when we get there. This is actually like the number one place for early cherry blossoms. It's like some kind of special breed. Our trees breed special I don't know, it's like some kind of special cherry blossom. It blooms early February all the way through the entire month, which is also rare. Usually they die so fast. Today is the exact last day of the festival. I've been like looking on everyone's account online on Instagram, trying to like pinpoint the perfect time to come. They actually started a bit late this season, which is great because we're kind of late. There was the predicament with this trip, which is why we're up at the butt crack of dawn. Sorry, this light is gonna change like 50 times with me just explaining what the flip we're doing. So we left. <laughs> we left at like 5 a.m. I got up at four. I didn't even sleep to be honest because it was like my upload day. Don't take my phone. Oh, nice one. Actually going on this trip so we can shoot the new Spring Moon Global hoodie. Yay! That was your part. Hey. Yay. Yay. Wow. I didn't know I was part of that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're going to go shoot the new Moo Global hoodie. It's the whole purpose of this trip. That's why I needed the early cherry blossom so that they could be out in time for spring. But this was basically the only time that we can come. And would you believe it? Tomorrow and the next day is supposed to be raining. So basically, this is the only day that does not have rain. So we woke up super duper early, that way we'll have time to shoot everything in the sun while we have the sun, because tomorrow I think it is literally just gonna rain the whole time. So yeah, I had to do my makeup in the car, I'm making it ready later. We can't check in, of course, until like super duper late, probably like two or three. I'm guessing. So I think we're just gonna go around the city and look at the flowers. Hopefully they're still like full and not like dying. Other than food, coffee is like the most important part of a trip, but it's so early that nothing is open so we had to get McDonald's coffee. Let me know how it is where y'all from because where I'm from in California, coffee is for 5 a.m. to like 11, 10 really. Unless you're in university, then coffee's 24 seven. But 
in this car struggling. Coffee shops over here, a lot of them don't open until like 11. We can't even get no coffee yet. I'm like, by the time stuff open, it's time for not coffee. Like, I gotta wind down. Also, thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna let voiceover Sunday take over and just let you look at like some beautiful scenery as we drive. For so many professions during this day and age, it is essential that you have a website. And Squarespace is the perfect place to do that because they make everything so easy. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that lets you create a variety of beautiful types of websites and online stores. They have so many useful features like a commenting section for your blog, where you can chat with your audience, you can connect your social media accounts to display your posts, and they have very useful analytics so you can understand what works for your website. Go to squarespace.com and sign up for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash sundaylove. You can save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to have links and all the information down below in the description box. We made it. We're here. Oh my god. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. It look, you're my last nerve. Not even plugged in. Okay, not even so we made it. As you can see, it's very beautiful out there. I, I, I can't even say it. Like how? How? Wasted all this money on a hotel, drove three hours, and, and forgot, forgot the, the hoodie, hoodie at, at the, the house. house. The whole, the entire, the entire purpose of this trip. We had one reason to be here, just one, was to shoot the pink hoodie with the cherry blossoms. And I don't have the hoodie. I don't even have a backup hoodie. I got the Fuji sweater. Shut up. <laughs> Why does this, oh my God. And it's like too far to go back. Like we woke up way too early to be here on time. And it's the only sunny day too. So it's not like I can go back tomorrow. Wow. It was too expensive and close of a trip to justify this being just a trip. So it's like a business trip. If it's a business trip, I don't mind spending money because you know it's for the business. But if it's for just a normal trip, like bro, I could have went to Kyoto. Oh my God. Okay. Well, we have like a car packed full of camera equipment, drones and- All the things we need to film the hoodie. It's like thousands of cameras. Well, I guess I really just drove all the way over here, paid all this money to look at some flowers. We gonna look at some flowers. That's all. We, that's all we can do, is look at some. Wow, this is not. You not how the trip was supposed to go. <laughs> now it's legit just a road trip. It's not even a business trip anymore. I'm super forgetful. I leave my phone everywhere, my wallet. I leave everything everywhere all the time. I'm pretty sure I almost forgot the Kyoto sweaters when we went to Kyoto. He's the one that's supposed to remember the stuff. You got one job. What happened? I think we both thought each other put the hoodie in that is no sentence. I think we both thought that the other person the other person put the hoodie in the car and neither of us did. And we didn't think about it. We didn't literally parked ten dollars for parking and I was like, okay, let's grab the hoodie. You brought it, right? You brought it, right? <laughs> Uh, I thought you packed it in a bag. No, it was on that hanger. I know it was I know I saw it out when we left, but I thought you'd put it Is in it a... really not in here? No, it's not. I took the trash out though. Fight! I neglected my cat for this. It's actually really beautiful though. I'm not gonna lie. But like dang. Alright, so I had a good rant on uh, Instagram and I think I'm just gonna take the L. 
I know. Half of the people were like, that's a sign from God that you need to just enjoy a vacation and not work the whole time. And the other half was like, girl, just take some photos and Photoshop it in. But I feel like that's so dishonest. I don't know. But this wasn't like a cherry blossom item specifically. It was just pink. So I thought it would look cool with the pink and spring and you know, but I guess I could do like a little bit of Photoshop. Like I couldn't Photoshop the Kyoto sweater. Like you can't be in Tokyo filming the Kyoto sweater. But for this, I think actually it might be okay. So I'm just gonna have to get creative. We're gonna take a bunch of shots of the cherry blossoms and I'm just gonna enjoy my day. It's like 10 a.m. but I'm about to find some whiskey y'all. I'm taking shots. We starting at shots, okay? Luckily though, this is literally my vibe. Like it's super beautiful. Traditional houses and roofs and cherry blossoms. So just gonna walk around and have a good time. Ash is already down there doing stuff he ain't supposed to do. He out there in the river. He always doing white people stuff. Look at this. Not supposed to be down there. I'm trying to just accept what happened. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm still ranting. Sorry guys, I am though. I don't know, I'm like really, really hard working and I think I'm just too hard on myself to be honest. Like I enjoy vacation after I've done the work. If I've done the work, I can enjoy it. If I haven't, I'm just like, I'm wasting money. Like, I don't know why I'm that dang cheap. But yeah, actually a vacation was definitely overdue. It's just like, I didn't like create a plan. I didn't map out restaurants, nothing. Cause I only planned on working when I came here. I didn't plan on doing really anything else. So yeah, this thing is so massive. We haven't even made it all the way up. Like we're nowhere close. My Canon battery already died. <laughs> Ash had to run back to the car to get another battery. I'm like, dang, we didn't even made it to the main part yet. Oh, also this place is famous for like yellow flowers that grow on the ground and then of course all the cherry blossoms in the sky it looks really cool like the contrast between the two colors so we're like walking that way towards the yellow flowers which also is my favorite color and i have on yellow yeah. super cool like I thought the spot was kind of small but it's actually really big so basically they're just a bunch of cherry blossoms on both sides of the river like lining the entire river it goes on for so long Supposedly the last day of the festival, but like a lot of the petals haven't even bloomed yet So I'm kind of confused. Anyways, there's a bunch of food stalls. I'm excited and I see strawberry mochi So that's what I'm gonna get Way too much to choose from so I'm gonna get those like fishes that are on the stick because I see them on Inuyasha all the time. Shippo's always tearing them up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I'm gonna get that and there's like some weird stuff that I've never seen before. I'm kind of excited. This is the best part of a festival. The food, that's gonna give you diarrhea later. This is what I'm talking about. And I know you guys know the scene from Inuyasha. and Inuyasha, somehow I have never ordered this before. This is literally my first time, but it always like freaked me out because the head is still on here. I don't want to be wasteful, but I'm not about to eat nobody head. Like I don't even know where to start. I shouldn't have looked. Oh God, I wish I didn't look. Actually really excited about this. Never tried it before. It's a, uh... oh, they scrapping. Doggy gang wars. Butter potato cheese stick. Why would you put honey on it? Minus the honey, it's actually fire. You can imagine fried mashed potatoes with cheese. I'm gonna have the biggest stomach ache later. Like, I wish my school had this view. Like, look at this, guys. Beautiful mountains and houses and then a whole cherry blossom field over here next to a river. Every time I see a school in the countryside, I'm like, you guys are so lucky. Do you know how beautiful it is around you? They probably know. Or maybe they're sick of it and they just wanna go to Tokyo. But like, wow. So we've been walking around for forever trying to find these flowers. I don't know what happened, but somehow they got ripped up from the riverbank. Usually they're down, down on the riverbank. 
So you get like beautiful cherry blossoms at the top and then these yellow ones at the bottom, but they're like gone, the whole river. And we've been walking like 10 miles in the snow. His face. <laughs> in the snow. <laughs> to get this beer look how cute this bottle is sakura beer it's great oh wait no spoke too soon it has an aftertaste it tastes like cherry blossom but it's cute we have vibe cheers oh i don't drink on this channel it's soda guys it's juice guys this is a must cherry blossoms in february this place i thought was a lot smaller which is why i just never bothered coming over here still like beautiful trees everywhere definitely definitely worth it izu is actually already like one of my favorite places around here by the way if you guys saw one of my other videos i know i talked about like buying a house this is actually the number one place that i'm looking at so it's kind of nice to just explore other areas where i haven't been i don't think i'd ever move this far down south because it's kind of like in the middle and all the train lines run around the edges that could have been said better all the train lines run along the coast <sighs> stay, stay in, school. in school the hotel that we're staying at is like in the middle kind of but kawazu station is kind of on the coast it's just really far down south i keep finding all these perfect photo spots for the sweater that i forgot to get it's a vibe <laughs> I have a pet peeve other than smacking smacking is just makes me instantly furious I don't know why but like, I'm a really happy person and it's hard to make me like actually mad but there are two things that make me want to fight you number one you mess with my family number two cruelty to animals it makes me so freaking mad I just see red all kind of animal abuse I've been seeing it's hot they got dogs in all kind of clothes and shoes and oh my god Japan does way too much with dogs I think cuz they're so expensive they want to treat them like babies but like no this lady had this poor stressed out owl like what owl wants to be out oh my god and the other lady yanking her poor dog no exaggeration like this much leash space between her and the hand like there's no room to walk she wants him to walk so perfectly that he's like no leash and she keeps yanking on him oh my god i'm about to fight somebody i need to get up out of here y'all Cherry chased all the way cherry, cherry. to the beach. <laughs> this goes on for so long. Like there's way more to see than I thought. It's very repetitive. It's like the same junk, but it's so much. And it is just beautiful because like their mountains are covered in trees and it's just amazing. Plus there's a river. Like you get it all. The mountains, the river, the cherry blossom trees, the abused dogs, the beach. Who wears short shorts? Nobody because it's winter. to get a taxi to get back like there's no way i could walk all the way back i think most people underestimated actually how big this was because nobody was like bro you're gonna be walking for like a good hour or two like 
can't. <laughs> Ash wants to fly the drone while we have good weather, and then we're gonna head to the hotel because I haven't even checked in yet. It is like four o'clock, maybe. Oh, by the way, I did change yellow tops. This one was like long sleeve and it was hot. Also, a tip. So this place like basically starts at the beach, which is very close to Kawazu Station, and then the river just goes all the way down, right? But I recommend not starting at the station. Like most people start at the station, and that's where most of the attractions are and stuff. But I actually recommend starting on the other end because the other end, most of the cherry blossoms are bloomed towards the beach. I don't know, maybe it's cooler or something. Not as many trees had bloomed. Like there was one patch that was like really nice near the bridge, but like other than that little patch, like most of that trail was bald or almost bald the exact date it is february 28th which is the last day of the festival i feel like they're gonna keep going because the flowers just got started like how you going in the festival well, they ain't even out yet i don't know who knows so yes they are very late this year for people wondering <laughs> 